yeah, it's been a pretty interesting uh, few weeks, as you said. Obviously, having the week off uh, last weekend was pretty unexpected, but um, I think it did us good. We um, trained well, and the group was just really excited to get back out on the park on the weekend. And um, yeah, we were lucky to get the win over Collingwood, which was awesome, and super excited for this weekend playing at the MCG. pretty exciting I mean no AFL women's team has done that yet um, so we're super pumped to be a part of this this history um, making game I guess going into this weekend it is a final it's a prelim and it's an opportunity for us to get into another grand final um, I think regardless of where we were playing or who we were playing we're all going to be just as hungry and excited to get on the track and yeah get hopefully get the job done have you spoken about um, like dealing with the occasion the MCG and everything that surrounds it like I guess um, we haven't had too much um, time to really uh, dodge into that, I guess. But um, it's a massive stadium. I mean, hopefully we get a big crowd there. Having the, the crowd on the weekend at the Gabba was huge for us and the support that we got just really got us over the line. I think um, having fans there is amazing and we love that. A lot of the girls in our team love celebrating and, and hopefully, yeah, the MCG will bring that as well. You just spoke about it off camera, but there's like, it's, it's going to be the same environment for you as it is going to be for them. I guess it's the unknown. Um, they've never played there, we've never played there, so we are, we're in the same boat. Um, we love travelling as a group. We really uh, enjoy going and travelling to the ground together. We think it really um, makes us stronger going into the game. So we're, we're super excited. Um, hopefully the crowd, there's a few Lions supporters in there as well. We've got an amazing um, base in Melbourne from our Fitzroy Heritage, so hopefully they'll get down to the ground as well and, and cheer us on. You were just saying before also, um but, but you think the G suits your style of play, you know, the, the size of it. Is that fair to say? Tell us why that is. Yeah, yeah I think a lot of um, AFLW athletes would say that they love playing in stadiums. Um, there's nothing worse than, you know, 40 kilometre winds um, out at Maroochydore. But we've we've adapted to that sort of stadium um, facility and I think it really does suit our game. We love running. We we um, we love, yeah, the run and carry game, which which is a lot better in, in a stadium. And, and but it could have been, going back to Fishy's comment, like, I, I assume Craig's going to say, OK, go out there, soak it up. But then you've got a job to do. Like, there's going to be two parts to the visit to the G, I suppose. Because you're going to be in awe of it for starters, but then not tick that box and then get on with the job, yeah? Yeah, like you said, it's another game of footy. Um, we want that to get into the grand final, so we'll do everything we can on the day to, to get ourselves there. Um, we'll definitely enjoy the experience. It'll be something that a lot of girls will never forget. Um, and probably, yeah, at this moment, the most exciting game they'll ever play in. Um, so it is, it's huge, but we're there to play footy and we just want to go and get the job done. Do you feel they've got the wood on you? Or like, do you feel like they'd, they'd be thinking they've got the wood on you looking at the, the stats and you know, they've beaten you? Yeah, they're a great opposition. Um, we know that going into the game. Obviously, we don't underestimate any team in the comp, especially a team that's made themselves into the finals. Um, they're, they're a strong team. We know what we're up against. Yeah, she's an amazing forward. Um, she does. She knows how to kick goals and knows how to take those contested marks. Um, I think obviously we have a really strong backline, and I think it's not necessarily one person, but what we can do as a group to help each other out. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, yeah, like you said, the Broncos girls as well are doing such a fantastic job to really advocate for women in sport in these, um, I guess, more male-dominated male sports in the NRL and AFLW. So it is, it's amazing, and I hope we are doing Queensland proud. You can't get inspiration from, like, UCN to Rowell, the leaders to Rowell. Are you any friends with each other or anything like that? Um, yeah, we definitely watch the games and support them. Um, they're doing a pretty amazing things in the in that space so I personally I, I don't have any friends on the team but yeah we definitely watch on and all. You, you you beat, you've beaten nearly every team in the last two years except Melbourne. Why do they give you so much trouble? Um, I guess last year is a different year we have a different team and so do they um, so this game will definitely be different to previous seasons um, but yeah they're a strong opposition we don't doubt that it'll just be um, 
going out there on the day and, and doing our best. I just want to ask a couple questions about Stas. He hasn't really had his um, defining glory yet, I guess, from that milestone a couple of weeks ago. But sitting back and here you are trying to win another premiership under his tutelage, I guess, do you look at it and are you just amazed at what he's done for the game here in Queensland? Yeah, he is amazing for what he has done for women's footy in Queensland. Um, he's been here right from the, the get-go, um, being a massive advocate to get us started and to get us where we are now. A lot of credit does go back to him and Bree Brock. Um, but yeah, I guess we, we go out there every weekend playing for him and playing for all the staff and the players um, out there. And he has been such an inspiration to a lot of girls to you know pick up the footy in the first place and then stick around. And he sacrifices a lot, doesn't he, for like, a lot of people don't know that his wife's yeah, yeah, definitely. He does. He sacrifices a lot to be here for us, but we um, we respect him so much, and our club wouldn't be the same without him. Um, good, news, good news on Ruby getting getting the all clear to go. Yeah. Yeah, Ruby's a, a fierce competitor. She always um, goes out on the field and does the job, and we're we're super stoked to be able to have her in the team this weekend. And congratulations to you as well, I hear, eh? <laughs> Thank you. Well, you know, what's your feel? The first time in your Australian. Um, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Obviously, we play a team sport for a reason. It's not about the individual accolades. Um, I'm yeah, really honoured to have made the squad and I'm really proud of the other girls as well. Um, I could list 21 girls who should deserve to be in that 40-man squad from our team, but unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. But yeah, it is. It's an honour. Um, I'm really humbled to be selected in that squad. Well, as an indicator, you are doing yourself proud for that achievement. Like, don't break down. You know, like, you're always, always going to have your goals, and to make this squad is something special. Yeah, it is. It's really exciting and um, like I said, um, I wouldn't be in the squad without the other girls in my team, um, you know, putting the pressure on the ball for me to intercept. So it is. It's exciting.